What improvements do you do yourself to save money? We had differences of opinion on this when we first started, and I quickly came around because I, I was of the school of thought, you know, if we're hiring contractors to do the work, then we're not going to make as much money. That's cutting into our profit margin. But what I soon came to realize was that, you know, especially if you're doing this on the side of an existing job, which most people do, they start out part-time doing it on the evenings and weekends, um, you can't be at the job site all day long. So the time that you spend holding that property and the holding costs that you pay with your loan amount, with your insurance, with utilities and all of that stuff, that is going to more than um, cost you more than you would have if you just hired a contractor. Because what was gonna, what's going to take you, you know, six months to finish on the side would take a contracting crew, you know, four to six weeks to do. So you can take that same money, that same investing money, and turn it over into more flips and wait, make way more money in the long run than if you're doing the work yourself. The longer that you hold a house, the more expensive it is. It costs you money constantly when you are when you own a house, the longer it takes. Do-it-yourself always looks better on paper, but in reality, it's really not better. And it's painful, like physically painful, physically and mentally. Still a bad and, back. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you know, don't do that to yourself. The, the, what you need to be doing is still working on your real estate business while that deal's going on because you need to be looking for your next deal. Yeah. And if you're, you know, at the house doing all, you know, swinging the hammer yourself, you're not going to have time to go look for the next deal.